We're going to SEMA. We don't even You're need good. drive lines. We're back on the Onyx build. I'm ready to have this thing running. So today's order of business is a transfer case. We're gonna put a slip yoke eliminator on a 241, get it in here, see if we can get drive lines figured out and finish up some loose ends in this area up here. So we'll get going. So funny story, I was just barely thinking about this. This transfer case actually came from the same people I bought the willies from. And they said, hey, we got a transmission and a transfer case. If you're interested in that, you can have it. I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. It shows up. It's a 241C, just like we need here. So uh, I'm using parts that I got from the people that I bought the willies from. So pretty cool. Parts they had kicking around, probably gonna be used on this. And here they are going in it. All right, so. I got everything tore apart, all the bolts are out. I'm gonna split the case, pull it in half, and then we'll go through the new parts and make sure we got what we need. All right, let me show you the difference here. This is the back half that we're going to put on. This is the back half that was on it. So all of that to that. Big difference. Plus we're putting a manual speedometer gear in this because I want to use the original speedometer and stuff that's in the truck. So should be pretty easy. All right, so the silicone is really good here. It is not wanting to come apart. So we're gonna go ahead and heat it up with a torch and it'll break loose. I already uh, broke one snap-on screwdriver off. So I'll break another one. I'm about to make a mess here, I think. Ooh, it's hot. It's that did her. Little heat will fix it every time. See my screwdriver broke the tip right off that thing. Damn, I don't know what silicone they used. It is good. There we got it. All right, she's coming apart now. All right, we got the half off this. Pickup tube looks good. It hasn't, the chain hasn't been rubbed in the case anywhere. This appears to be a good transfer case. So we'll clean it up. We'll pull the pump off. And we'll put this thing back together here. That's all there is inside of here. Little shifter right there. Not much to it, but as you can see, this transfer case is in good shape. It's out. She is gutted. Now I gotta take the shifting parts off of this one and put on this one. So this is the shaft going back in. As you can see, way different here. That's how much shorter it is right there. Quite a big difference. All right, well, we've run into our first real problems with the Onyx build. So this is the new shaft. That right there is bigger than the old one. This will not slide over that. So that sucks. I don't know, I'm gonna figure some stuff out here. He still has his ringer off. <laughs> All right, when all else fails and no one answers the phone, we go to YouTube. So I'm gonna YouTube here for a minute and see if someone else has found this problem and then I'll get back to you.
All right, so new plan. We're gonna pull this other 241 apart that we have and uh, see if it happens to have the right stuff. So this 241 came off of a standard transmission. So the input spline is a 32 spline, I think, or 31. It's bigger than the 28, I haven't counted them. We'll pull the back half of this thing off real quick and see if it happens to have the parts in it that we need. All right, we're about to find out here. If, oh, come on. Well, there we go. Just okay. Okay. Well, I'd let you know if this would work if I could get a stinking snap ring off. Got it. Did it? Sweet. Same. What the crap? Exactly the same. How's, how's that work? Exactly the same. Exactly the same, other than way more used. This one's in dang good shape compared to this one. I don't know what now. All right, I think we found another transfer case that might have the stuff in it. I don't know. Close enough. I don't know if it is. I don't know if this is gonna work either. All right, we've decided that's not gonna do what we needed to. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna phone some people and see what, if I can find the right stuff. All right, we're going for a field trip. We're going down to the cars to see what we got. We'll go see if we got something that's gonna work. All right, we think we found the right transmission. We're gonna tear it apart. Let's see if, if it happens to have the stuff we need in it. Time will tell. far the same so far things are looking semi good here right. case is at least it's pretty easy yeah is there a chance it comes apart that easy we're good <laughs> i like the optimism and that's technically the same this isn't the same though okay i don't know this isn't good. All right, we are currently no further ahead than we were six hours ago today. So we're going to go ahead and call now and see if we can find the right parts and get them on their way. I don't own them, so we're going to call and find some. Feeling kind of dumb right now. All of you that are watching know why. If you know, you know why I'm feeling dumb right now. So Sean made a phone call to JB Customs and uh, they said, yep, we know the problem you have. Just go ahead and push those bearings out of there and slide it on there and it'll work just fine. We're four hours into this now currently and two tran three transmissions we've tore apart and I could have just pushed those bearings out and we would have been done an hour into this whole thing. So, feeling pretty dumb. Other than wow, you don't have a hammer. I'll need a Mateo right there. Okay. I need to. I don't want that one hitting the ground. Yeah, I need it. Did it move any? I oh, yeah. I know, he's a cameraman extraordinaire. Yeah, wait till the comments. <laughs> <laughs> 27 ham, just gonna let hit the. That almost hit me right where There's I one. Hit. Didn't want it to. Nice. Okay. Well, it all fell. I'll just <laughs> throw that stuff down there. What do you bet? You're nervous, aren't you? I am a little bit, but I mean, I can read calipers, and they said it fit fine. Good, night. dude. That's that's so freaking stupid. <laughs> so oh, it man. Is the right one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turns out people do know what they're talking about. We called JB Customs, the place that we got the kit from. And they're like, oh yeah, there's no difference in them other than one has bearings and one doesn't just take the bearings out. Well, which which we talked about, like when I tore this apart and I matched it up, I'm like, looks like I could just take that bearing out and it'd fit. And then we're like, they gotta have bearings on them. 
Turns out they don't. Someone just laughed at us. You know, you can't be <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Grandma, oh. I'm your freaking son. <laughs> I know. I am your son. That's why I said it. that down straight to the court. That was That's deep. why I said it politely. Grandma, don't you yeah. have some merchandise to sell or something? I need to go home. <laughs> I've done enough damage today, so I've found it. Yeah. Oh, you can't make up for it now, Grandma. It's too late. Okay, we've got this thing whipped. We'll throw it back together. Put it in the truck. Works perfect. Yeah. Sweet. Slip yoke eliminator. Now, we're 241 experts. If this comes up again, we'll know. We just pull those bearings out. And problem solved. All right, we're going back together. We, I think we're winning. Don't worry, we're just like here butter. Cheerleaders. We'll take some cheering. We could have used some know-how earlier in the day. But hey, son, you did a good job. Now, nice try. Now you come <laughs> back right. with it. <laughs> All right, there she is. Slip yoke eliminated. Now, if we do. Some of this stuff. Okay. You need some help. I'm bleeding. You need a band-aid? I can no, do that. I'm good. <laughs> I can do that. We're, we're shifting stuff. Okay. Hi. What Just, the? I got silicone all over me. Gosh dang it. It's like anti seas It's horrible. Okay, that should be there two wheel. Go. We got uh, everything that we're supposed to have. Let's put her back in. All right, it's a special treat today. I've already, I already you asked get, you if you, you need. No, you get Michelle the fan, by the way. as the videographer. Yeah. So okay, let's here do we this. go. Let's go for it. See, that's, See how yeah. heavy this is. Oh, it's not super heavy. High though. Yeah. John and I are extra tough though. Oh yeah. It's the right spline. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Good job in not checking that before. Yeah, we were gonna check the splines and make sure it was right, and then we got busy with all the other stuff that didn't work, and we forgot and just put it together. But it bolts in. What are you? Are you, where, are I don't you know getting the, close? I don't know where the spline is. I'm you guessing it's you right can't, there. You know, they're on the inside. Okay. But I can tell. I was trying to show the people the spline. I can tell by the way that it is. Oh. You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. Okay. That it worked, so we're good. Nice. How heavy your transfer case is. You want us to take it out and you lift it? Actually, we've got no, four actually, others. Four you can yeah. just what lift What I was hoping them. was you'd be like, oh my gosh, she knew what a transfer case was. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she knew what a transfer case <laughs> I was. I totally named it. That's right. What right. is this right here? Oh, we're playing name that part, huh? Yeah. What is this? Like just that little bolt or the whole thing? It's just a bolt. You were way overthinking. It's just a bolt. Oh, okay. that see? should hold. That's a yoke that it's hooked to, though. That's what I was gonna say. I was what gonna is this say. thing right here? That's a shock absorber. Nope. That's a. That's a barn. Pitman arm. That's a barn's joint right there. Barnes, Barnes four wheel drive. drive. Go get you some ten percent off. How many more bolts do you need? I got them. Oh, perfect. Remember that time when I built exhausts on this and thought it was awesome? Oh yeah. How's it look now that oh, it's, it's in? It's so terrible. I mean like, it is like in, all of it's in the way. There's gonna be a drive line. We're going to SEMA. Bluetooth. We don't even You're need good. drive lines. You're good. Yeah, it's gonna work, Never mind. Is that the big joke is like, nobody has a running car at SEMA as long as it's pretty? All it's gotta be is pretty. It's don't, pretty. Don't you say a word. <laughs> it's pretty. My hand really hurts. So I'll tell you what I did to it. I had I a handful you. of bolts and the transfer case half needed to go together and I just hit it like that and the, I had two bolts stacked together on it and it pinched in between it and it hurt pretty bad. I'm lightheaded from the loss of blood currently. <laughs> no one even cares. Well, I care. No I care. Cares. I've just seen a lot worse. <laughs> Good job. Good job, boys. We went to the mail today. Grandma brought us all the mail. So this one right here, I'm not gonna lie, I've opened it already and it's cool. It caught my interest because of the 
the bullet arrows that are on it. Tim sends me this. I know it's not what you were expecting when you saw the box. That's exactly right. And it says, one more thing, it's clean and it's been washed and sterilized. Just wasn't a good fit for the patient. Any ideas, Jace? What? Maybe one of the cooler things that anyone's ever sent me. What is that? That, my friend, is a hip. What? Ha ha ha! No kidding, that is a, that's a titanium hip. He thought it'd make a cool shifter knob or something, which it will. Rat rod stuff right there? It wasn't, that's been in person? Yes, that's been in someone's hip. Okay. Never seen one of those in my life, but I have now, I've held one. If your hip ever goes out. If my hip goes out, we'll be able to do a quick hip change. Woo! Mark and Christine, we don't have Bucky's, we have Old Dutch. Well, by gosh, these are the Old Dutch version of Beaver Nuggets. Thank you guys, we will eat those. Anderson, some patches for our, our wall. That's cool, 9-11. So in case you guys didn't know, that's actually my birthday as well, it's coming right up, 9-11. Thank you, Mr. John Anderson. Levi is 14 and he's rebuilding a plumbing company. Oh yeah. Sent us a bunch of pictures. And some beaver nuggets. It's a score day today. Ed sent us some shirts. And this is the coolest thing right here. This is a owner's manual for a 49 Chevy truck. Like the old rat bag. We'll throw this in the glove box of the rat bag. Thank you. All right, we got one last package. This is from Jason. And he says, this is the best wasp pillar there is. Don Disco. Let's spray it. Mix that up and spray these. We'll give it a try. We are back on the pack rat. So we are gonna go ahead and get the rear bumper built and welded onto this rig today so that we can put a fuel tank in it because this will be the rear cross member. We have to cut one out of the frame. We need this to hold it together. So John's gonna go ahead and get this all marked up, put the receiver hitch in. We'll get it all built, finished weld that thing to the frame so while he's doing that i'm gonna take i'm gonna cut these sides off flush and start working the sides out that are gonna tie into that so no shortage of work we just gotta get going the shop cat is laying on my onyx build i mean i know it's a pack rat but the cat wants to eat it it's tried up there by the old bot trying to get boats for us, I guess. What are you doing, little, little cat? All right, I've got my welding attire on. That means Sean's got this all ready. So that's what the receiver is gonna look like. We'll build some little angles right here to put a safety chain in because you never know if I'm gonna tow the boat to the lake with this thing or not. Surfboards on top, go to the ocean. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna like weld that in. Hey, Grandma. What was that, Grandma? <laughs> hanging I'm surfing. Tan? I'm hanging tan. All right, let's pack. All right, weld it in. We gotta cut the back off still and put these little angle pieces in it, but. Uh, Rear bumpers coming together. I'm gonna start cutting some three inch and try to get it to wrap. We're gonna do like one of those, uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen on YouTube, I occasionally get sucked into the YouTube videos where those Indonesian people are like building their flip flops and they're out in the middle of nowhere with a welder, stick welder and this little screen thing. I'm gonna probably build it like that minus all those things I said. I'm just gonna cut it a whole bunch and bend it. So I got no other option. We tried rolling the front one and that didn't work. So this is gonna be fairly boring. How long have you been working on this for? I've been working on this for half hour at least. Uh, 
and we are not very far in. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try something else. Cutting. Sean's building some pieces over here on the mill. These are gonna be the little triangle pieces for the, like the receiver, like you would hook a safety chain in or something. So he'll get that centered up where it needs to be, drill some holes out, we'll go back to welding. We're tackling it. We're going for it. It looks to me like 30 inches. We'll cut some 30 inch pieces of that uh, three by three. Go to cutting. Right, let's see what we can do. Gonna need to start rolling right there to right there. Let's make it happen. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this thing. We'll see what we can get done. Right, make sure this is square. Locked and loaded. I think I'm a little over halfway with the first initial cuts. In my mind, this is gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to cut some of these out. I don't know. I'm gonna make this work because it's gonna look cool. I want it to work. So I'll finish cutting those. I'm not gonna bore you with the whole process because it takes forever. I'm one whole grinder disc in so far. We'll get there. Sean got our little pieces built. I just that and right on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and weld those things in right there. We'll call that part built, then we can cut it off. Weld it in. That should hold up, be good to go. All right, we've got that cut. Let's see if it'll bend. Oh, she's bending. Some of them aren't cut as far down as I would like them. We gotta do some work over here on this side. It's oh. Oh. a lot of little cuts. Tell me about it. I've been cutting for an hour. While you were at school getting smart, I've been cutting. But, check that out. It's gonna roll just nice like. It's gonna do her. Looks like I got one more. It's a good one to get her to roll completely. So I'll just keep cutting. Boom. And then we got one more to do. Those look like the exhaust on like a Lambo or something. They're titanium exhaust. Are they? That's what we're going with. So yep. Titanium. Titanium. The shop cat ends up in some strange places. It likes LS power as well. All right, I am to this point. I got her clamped on. I'll put a little bend to it and tack weld these things. And then we can full weld them. And then we got to build another one that looks exactly like it for the other side. No problem. Then we can start putting the bumper on this rig, so getting there. That was a lot. I got real life sweat dripping off my head. This is all welded up. It's gonna have to get ground up, make it look nice. Right now it's really hot and I don't wanna touch it. I'm gonna let that cool down. I think it's time to fire the 42 up and uh, test the burnout pad out. That's what I think. Hey, Shell. Hey, what? You ready to test the burnout pad out? Unlike the sensible people on YouTube, I'm not 
YouTube, and I think we like poured a whole bunch of cement, and now we're just gonna. It's ruin a terrible it. idea. Get in the truck. Oh my gosh, is it gonna ruin it? What? The truck or the cement? Both. Either one's replaceable. Let's do this. Okay. Jace, he's cameraman. Here's the camera. We're testing the burnout pad out. Oh, me and mom. Let's go get in. Oh my gosh. I was just cleaning my truck and uh, they said to come film. Beautiful. Hey, go follow that Instagram over there, at Jace Cox. Climb in. There's really no secrets. Is your door shut? You're good. Get in, Jace. Let's do it. I feel like that's money well spent, really. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Grandma, Landon, that was your... awesome. Okay. Thoughts on that? That child did not learn that crap from me. That's all I can say. That's what his father used to do. <laughs> I'm just glad I wasn't in at that time. That was scary. Jace, that was scary, Paul. Thoughts? Oh yeah, oh, that was good. I gotta go to the vet and match that. No. <laughs> you saw I moved my that car. That right there is a pretty good. I moved my car. Relief. I thought he was gonna take it out. Me too. That's a good stress relief. Apparently, really. everybody thinks that was just the greatest thing ever besides the people with a sense besides of. Besides me and Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that have the brains. Exactly. Brains? What the heck? All right, time has come to get the bumper taken from there and put it there. So. We're gonna go ahead and temporary this thing in place. It's coming off a few times, but once I get it welded onto here, then I can start putting corners on it and getting all the stuff figured out. So we're gonna tack it in place, go from there. She's had ample time to cool on down. I'm going with the top of that. It's gonna look good. That bumper's gonna look dang good. Alright, check that out. It's our custom built bumper. So we know some of this is coming off here because I just spent the last 17 hours of my life building these. So we're gonna weld right into it something like that right there. So we'll shorten them, they'll weld in. Voila. That actually is going to work. That's sweet, dude. I mean, plans coming together. I like it. But, like always, 
We are running out of time too. We got a bunch done. We got transfer case all put together. Drive lines are measured. Rear bumpers all put together. Well, rear bumpers mostly put together. I'm gonna go ahead and finish weld it. And then uh, we'll just take it for a drive. <laughs> yeah, we got lots to do, but we're gaining on it. So thanks for watching.